pulse here, okay? It was mid-May when 39-year-old Ken Millis was blindsided by a serious heart attack and the doctor's bad news. When he told me that there was permanent damage and that the duration of my life was reduced, that, you know, freaked me out. Especially since the construction company employee has a wife and two teenage boys. <laughs> I'm not ready to go yet. He's smiling in pictures. So he volunteered to be one of 24 recent heart attack patients in a cutting-edge clinical trial at the Cedar sinai Heart Institute, becoming the first person ever to get an infusion of his own heart stem cells. And we seek to actually reverse the injury that's been caused by the heart attack by regrowing new heart muscle to at least partially replace the scar that's formed. Doctors are using stem cells, the body's master cells, because they can transform into different kinds of tissue. These cells that we're putting in come from the heart itself and are predestined to generate heart muscle and blood vessels. Other types of stem cells, like bone marrow, have been studied for heart repair, but with mixed results. Animal studies indicate heart stem cells do a better job. Problem is, the heart has so few stem cells, researchers have to grow more. Using local anesthesia, doctors first send a catheter with little pincers to snip out bits of healthy heart tissue. They send the pieces to the laboratory, where they're coaxed to manufacture as many as 25 million stem cells. In a trailblazing procedure, new cells grow spontaneously from the specimens, eventually forming into clusters called cardiospheres that can even start beating in the dish. These spew out cells like crazy, stem cells plus other nourishing heart cells. In four to six weeks, there are millions. You're infusing cells? A few days ago, doctors went back up an artery to deposit Ken Millis' own laboratory-grown stem and support cells into the damaged area of his heart, hoping it'll repair itself and pump more blood. If this works, it's going to help so many people. It's going to change everything. In six months, doctors will know if Ken's heart has begun to repair itself. If all goes well, clinical trials should be completed in three to four years. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.